What are you wearing today? So today, everything from my store. This is like good luck, right? Get you up. Yeah. Spring has arrived in New York City, and the city's bursting with life and color after a long and dreary winter. And you already know what time it is. What are you wearing today? Uh, I am wearing some John Varvatos, if you can believe it. Yeah. He's an American designer. You can get it anywhere. Okay. In fact, he's got a new store. I'm, I, by the way, this is not being paid by JV. OTD is his new store right there, right across the street. Okay. I, I don't know why I haven't heard of it. Yeah. It's, it's a really good line. Um, men have a great option with them. Pants too? The pants, I think, are all saints. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Just what I feel comfortable in. It makes me feel comfortable, okay. you know? For sure. Yeah. If you were to give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Don't. We're gonna get back to answering that question in just a moment. Before we do that, there's a bit of an issue that needs to be solved. My MacBook isn't working right now. Clear up the closing doors, please. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to fix it or have to buy a whole new laptop. And that's not a small expense. It's my lifeline for making these videos, earning a living, and connecting with all of you. Needless to say, I'm a bit anxious right now. Stay free, worry free. We're going on a mission to get this checked out. Good news is Apple Store is on Print Street in Soho, one of my favorite spots to hang. There's a good chance we're gonna find some cool people to interview as well. Don't take anything personally for the love of God, and you will thrive. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing, this is actually a vintage jacket. I got it in Barcelona. Um, it's H&M, this is Skiff. And my shoes are Salomons. Oh, sweet. My bag is from uh, These are by One Oak. These are Celine. <laughs> okay. This color looks great on you. Thank you so much. Where do you get your style inspiration? Um, I mostly look at guys, I think. Just put something together that feels really comfortable. And for my work, I'm always super tidy up and like super dressed. And then uh, when I'm in my spare time, I just like to wear something easy. What do you do for a job? Uh, I'm a model okay. in Europe. So I'm here for meeting my agency. So. I see. What's your name? Sarah. What is one goal you're working to achieve right now? Uh, my goal to achieve right now, um, I would love to get my visa to be here. I love New York, it's so nice. I feel like the energy is super good, so different from Europe. Uh, but my goal is uh, to find um, a bit more healthy mental space, I think. To be a bit more at ease. Okay. Don't be so harsh on myself, I think I would say that. That's a great one. Something I do is I gift the rare $2 bill to people with nice style. That's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it's a memento. Okay, I'll keep this because I like dollars. They look so cool instead of euros. Yeah, I'll think about this moment. Don't know. Don't worry. What are you wearing today? Uh, so today I am wearing Drake's. For the most part, uh, and these are the Drake pair of boots, Shamboards. Right. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Ibisfield hat from my uh, friend's brand. It's called House. Okay. That's what I noticed off the bat. That's <laughs> true. What are your style inspiration for this fit? My style inspiration. Um, I, hmm, it's a good question. I want to say Tiffany Styles is one. Mahershala Ali is another. And my mom. All right. <laughs> are you from New York? I'm from the Bronx. Yeah. Okay. For sure. If you give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Mm. Uh, stay true to yourself, and it'll all work out. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> and you already know the deal. Ah, uh, that's a t <laughs> I appreciate you, boy. <laughs> see Yo, you good to see you, man. You Peace too. on. What are you wearing today? So today I'm wearing uh, clothing from my store. It calls Hottie Cot. On Instagram, you can find me. Everything from my store. Wow, even the jeans too? Yeah. I love how you put all the colors together. Yeah, thank you. How about your jewelry also? Oh, so it, this jewelry is from Korea too. But I don't sell it, I just have it. So. Which is nice though. Thank you. And what about your bag? So this bag is from Zara. Okay. So nothing's really special. Where do you get your style inspiration? So my inspiration is my mom. She was doing a business from South Korea uh, for like 20 years. And right now I'm doing it too, but in America. We just actually, we just launched this month. Before we did it in Uzbekistan, which is, I'm from, from Uzbekistan. I moved here from uh, South Korea because firstly I moved from Uzbekistan to South Korea. I lived in South Korea and now I decided to move to the US. 
H O double T Y C O double T. What is one goal you're working to achieve right now? Right now, uh, my goal is to inspire women to be stylish, fashionable, but my style is more not about beauty, it's about comfortable. So that's why, you know, I like comfortable jeans and like not very tight clothes. I'm all about that too. Oh, I see. <laughs> I like your outfit. We got this vintage polo. Yeah, a country tag, 1989. So great. And you got the military inspired. <laughs> yeah, as everything's well. vintage, thrift store fine. What do you think is the best part about New York City? Oh, it's vibe. I love vibe here. The vibe? Yeah. You feel like you're free here, you can do whatever you want, and you can achieve your goal. Because when I was in Korea, in Korea you have to work really hard, same as New York but it's super hard to achieve your goal. And here in New York City, everything is possible and you feel it. I totally agree. Oh, thank you, <laughs> I'll give it. Hi, I have an appointment schedule. Check my laptop out. What's the name? So we're here at the Apple store. I'm feeling pretty nervous, but also hopeful they're gonna fix it. It says that I have like 900 gigabytes of memory being used on documents, but I don't save documents ever. You have ever. a backup of everything that's on the computer safe, right? Um. What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a jacket. I was in Brooklyn two years ago. This, Thailand, crocheted. These are car arts. And then these are three people cowboy boots. This is from SC Collection. And then this is just a customized necklace with my nickname on it. It says Ames. Poppy Listener. They have really cool sunglasses. They have them in a billion colors. My roommate has them in pink. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Oh my god. I'm like such a tomboy, so I feel like I pull from a lot of like athletes, Instagrams, and different styling artists that style for athletes. But also just, I feel like everyone says this, like you have to follow whatever you like. like I'm never gonna wear the girliest stuff. But also I feel like it's cool if you wear like like these are men's pants with like a kind of like girly floral shirt. Kind of the clash is cool. I dig it. Thanks. What do you do for a job? Um, I work in athlete marketing for college students. I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So if you were to give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Oh, I feel like I'm so young still. I still say to myself today, but it's but like your character matters over anything else. Like don't get caught up in like the hype or the buzz about people or a job or an interview. Character of people that you surround yourself with and your character that you build is more important than anything else. It's all that you have at the end of the day. I love that. Thanks. Oh my gosh, these are sick. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, I'm gonna keep this forever. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Oh my God, for sure. My best friend has one of these and she's kept it from her grandparents for 10 years. So you gotta do. Thanks, man. What's your name? This is what we're wearing today. Vintage Picasso sweatshirt, vintage Carhartt pants. What are you wearing today? Hi, so I'm wearing a Celine uh, blazer and Egoldi jeans. Cool. Some Converse, a Rag and Bone t-shirt, and my little Celine. Easy. Chill. Very well done today. Thank you. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Well, I don't know. I've just been in New York for 20 years. Okay. <laughs> that makes it so... What do you do for a job? Uh, real estate. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so if you want to buy something, let me know. What's your name? Mayra Suarez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What is one goal you're working to achieve right now? To achieve? Yeah. Oh, get rich. <laughs> <laughs> one more, actually. What? what is your favorite part about New York City? My favorite part that I can walk anywhere. That's my favorite. It's a great walking city. Yeah. And actually, people watching because you never get bored, right? Step outside of your house and you're fine. Agreed. You have fun. Oh, really? <laughs> This is like good luck, right? Thank you. Oh, thanks. Take care. I'm wearing All Saints. And then these are from Express. I'm wearing Louis Vuitton. And just a little top, I don't know, from some store here in Soho. <laughs> well, I love that jacket. <laughs> thanks. Staple. <laughs> How about your shades? These are from Amazon. There you go. <laughs> Where do you get your style inspiration from? I mean, the city, people, traveling. What do you do for a job? I'm a full-time model. Okay, what's your name? <laughs> Nancy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What is one piece of advice you give to a younger version of yourself? To be more confident, because I guess I didn't really learn that until later in life. It keeps you away from doing a lot of things that you could have done, but you mm -hmm. were so afraid. Because you're like, oh my God, what are people gonna say? Like, I wouldn't wear things that I wanted to wear just because I'm like, oh, I don't live in like a cool city. But then I started and then people were like, wow, you dress really cool. And then. 
I move here. It makes things like it doesn't matter anymore. Like you do you. For sure. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't received this since I was a child. My brother gave me one and he said it was good luck. <laughs> That's what people say. <laughs> <laughs> <So cool. laughs> the verdict's in. Got a little good luck that rubbed off onto me. Turns out I had too many videos stored on my computer. Just a little storage issue, but we're back in business. What are you wearing today? Uh, today I'm wearing a vintage uh, Burberry jacket, reversible from the 80s. TDLP hoodie. Uh, what are these? I think these are costs. Some Jacques Marimage sunglasses and the secret Steel Daytona. Okay, I won't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> Great style today. I love that jacket. Thanks a lot. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Trial and error. Okay, for sure. Yeah. And what do you do for a job? I'm a creative director at an art philanthropy. Oh wow, what is one goal you're working to achieve right now? Um, I'm really focused on, I have a daughter who's four. She's the center of my world. And my wife, of course, my beautiful wife. Okay, so. that's beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thanks a lot. I'll put it towards my style. Okay, for sure, take care. Cheers. What are you wearing today? Pretty much all vintage. Um, this I think I got from L Train. Top and a skirt set, both from Depop. Okay, and the boots? The boots I got in my hometown in California. Giddy up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Where do you get your style inspiration? Um, Pinterest, Instagram, girls on the street here are so cool. For sure. So. And one more question. What yeah. is one goal you're working to achieve right now? Always be kinder. Love that. Always to work on it. Thank you so much. Take Have care. a good day. You too. Bag from Gabriel Forsac, glasses from Nexola, shirt from Paloma Wool. This is vintage from my dad, and this is vintage from my mom actually, and Adidas. Chill. Everything's well put together today. Thank you. What is your style inspiration? I don't know, I'm from Barcelona. Oh, okay. And I'm just visiting here, so I guess it's Mediterranean, you know, it comes from there. Okay. But I always try to adapt to where I am. What do you do for a job? I work in my family business, a 140 year old business. What is it? It's, um, we sell natural supplements, like bio, food, organic stuff. Oh, nice. What is one goal you're working to achieve right now? I'm working on a big transformation. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, take care. Spinner's Pizza. It's a floppy, salty one. I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm gonna rate this out of five Ralphs. Ralph is the name of my dog. 3.5 Ralphs. Got that little Versace print. Yeah, it's a so two-piece suit. With some old-fashioned ballets on. Representing my man Johnny Famous. You got the ballet collection. Classic dapper look. You know it. I see a little sparkle sparkle on your wrist. Oh yeah, a little, little fake bling bling. <laughs> if you were to give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Keep your mind very positive. You know, stay, stay around positive people. You know, don't try to go astray and hang out with somebody who's not doing what you're doing. Live a positive life. Positive things that happen to you in life. Main thing you gotta really concentrate. It's a jungle out here. What are you wearing today? I am wearing this from Sara. These jeans are from the Riot Priest, I think. This from Adidas. Okay. And Bean by Lola. And that's all I think. I love the colors today. Thank you. Where do you get your style inspiration? I don't know. I, am, I, I, I like colors. What do you do for a job? I have a business in my country. I am from Panama. Oh, wow. A photography business. What is one goal you're working to achieve? I want to grow up my business and also I want to start a business there that I found here. So I, I am working on that. Awesome. So something I do is I gift a rare $2 bill to people with nice style just for fun as a memento. Oh, okay, thank you. Take thank care. You. It's a brand called 20 Montreal. Full set? Full set, everything. How about Except the, for the hat. Okay, how about the jacket? Same. Is this your brand? It is. Yeah. Where do you get your style inspiration for the brand? Uh, cold weather, nice knits, comfy stuff, good colors. How long have you been doing this for? Just over 
12 or so years. 12, 13 years, yeah. If you give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Ooh, maybe take it a little slower. Yeah, yeah. don't rush into everything. Everything that will last will take time. Love that. Oh, wow. Can we give it back to you? Give it. All right. Appreciate it, take man. Take care. Nice meeting you. Thanks, today. The shirt's Aritzia. The pants are super down. And these are custom made um, Nike Air Force ones. Oh, cool. I know this is pants, those are chill. Yeah. Thank what do you, you do your style inspiration? Um nowhere. Just like life, I guess. Just natural. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for a job? I'm a liquor sales rep. Yeah. I, I thought know. I heard something. <laughs> yeah, I'm carrying on some bottles. If you were to give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Um I guess just to not care as much. Yeah, sure. Oh thank you so much. Just take care. Thanks, have a good one. Just a MoMA hoodie, uh, Carhartt, Amy, uh, sweats, 993s. Okay. Um, hidden Yankee fitted. I said. Chill and cozy fit? Yeah, exactly. Where do you get your style inspiration? I don't know, really. Just something clean, comfortable. Just comfortable, whatever I feel like, really. Oh, no. oh, wow. Thank you, man. Take care. Peace, man. That's great. Something I do is I give $2 bills to people with my style. No, brother. <laughs> That's all you. Give it to someone who needs it. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. All right. Appreciate you. Take care. All right. Actually, one other question, if you don't mind me asking. What do you think is the best part about New York City? I love like different styles that I can find here and that you have everything. Every idea is, is very uh, a creative place. Welcome to you on this video visit to New York City. Welcome to Hobbitson Television, bringing you great movies, sports events, and special programs, unedited and commercial free. It's good to have you with us. You have to have dark in order to have light. You gotta have opposites, dark and light, light and dark, continually in painting. If you have light on light, you have nothing. If you have dark on dark, you basically have nothing. There we are. You know, it's like in life. There we are. You gotta have a little sadness once in a while, see you there. We are, and the good times come. I'm waiting on the good times. There we are. I came along. The reason I said I don't fashion business. What I project and what I believe in is the things that go on. I was selling what, what I, I was. believed in. Writer, an artist is inspired. Picasso, whoever it was, was inspired by somebody else. They were inspired by a world around them and other artists. By flowers in a field. Oh, but before that, they are grown. They're inspired by other writers. They're inspired by other things that they've seen. They're inspired to find their ground. Keep your camera moving. Keep your camera moving. Keep your camera moving. What I believe in is the timeless, timeless, timelessness of an attitude. Them, those who buy your work to keep it, study it, and live with it, and then sell it, resell it. Yes, it's like everything else. I think everything else should be recycled, like uh, leftover food at restaurants. That's your concept. That's touch. Makes it different. Well, that's what I sort of believe. In.